on this episode of Two Months, Two Million. Weary from a string of bad hands, the guys decide to hit the town. You look so cool. But has Jay folded for good? I'm so sick of poker right now. It all starts now. Welcome to Las Vegas, where fortunes are made on the flip of a card. These former high school math whizzes are four of the best online poker players in the world. They've pooled their money, and for one high-stakes summer, they'll live and play together. Their goal? Two months. Two million. I definitely call. I definitely call. Snap call. He bets the turn every time with an ace. And it's like questionable that he would even bet a king on the river because he's such a stupid fish. We're through four weeks. We're only up 160K, which obviously is not on pace for making two million. So morale's kind of low right now. Why do we say snap call and snap fold? I think we should start saying even faster speed of light call and speed of light fold. Or like Mach 5 fold. I don't know, dude. Mach 5 isn't faster than the snap. Snap is just a moment in time. <laughs> I actually think Mach 5 is faster. It's faster than the speed of sound, so it has to be faster. What are you talking about? No, a snap is a moment in time. It's just, it's like a quarter of a second. It's sound, though. It's Mach a is a time? speed. It's a measurement of time? speed. Mach 5 is a measurement of speed, okay? It's How the speed it be, of what? sound, no. It's, it's five times the speed. the speed of sound. It's five times, times the speed that sound travels. What does that mean? <laughs> what do you mean, what does it mean? That okay, what is actually moving the speed of sound? What is moving the speed of sound? Fingers, what are you guess. talking about? Your the finger obviously is moving the speed of sound. Dude, I'm sorry, Donnie, but I graduated college. Oh. The speed at which your finger moves, snapping. Of course the, the sound, sound right. moves at the speed of sound. It's a sound. All sound moves at the speed and of sound. And Mach 5 is five times the speed so of sound. So obviously Mach 5 is five times as fast. We're gonna put a mask on today. Okay. Jay's been playing a ton of poker lately. I thought it might be a good idea to check out a spa, maybe let off some steam. Do you have cucumbers in your eyes too? I am my Martian. Last two weeks have been really brutal for me and I've definitely let the losing affect my play. Definitely been struggling with the question of why I'm not focused. I don't understand. I mean, if you don't have any interest in doing it, then, then, then don't play. Jay's a little stressed, you know? He's been whining a little bit. I very rarely have pure fun playing poker anymore. But I mean, you know, if you show me a guy who gets like, you know, an R&R &R type experience out of playing poker and I'll just show you a losing player. I'm just saying that. It's just like, just hard to meet any normal girls. Like, normal can... girls? No, normal girls from all around the world come. They just may not act normal. Right, so I'm saying you can meet them for but three you're days. you're normal no, girls. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking you're about... just meeting them in no, Vegas. I'm saying when you're, you're living never in Vegas for again. two months. Since I've been here, I've noticed that the morale's been low in the house. Kind of want to change things up and want to take everyone out. Told Donnie and Emil that they have to bring dates. You're going to find a date. Don't worry about it. So I guess Cassie had a uh, date night plan. You know, meeting a nice girl in Vegas. It's easier said than done. It's hard to meet a chick you can bring home to mama. Yeah, well, I mean, obviously I'm not trying to bring her home to mama. He's making excuses. How hard can it be? Just walk up and say, hi, I'm a 20-something millionaire and I don't have an arm growing out of my head. Let's go take some shots. Are you all like poker players? Yeah, we all play poker. Except for him. He's a prince from Dubai. So our mission basically is find some dinner dates, some respectful young ladies to go out with us. If my older brother dies and my father passes away, then I would be like assaulted basically. And Neil is doing, is doing the Dubai bit. Yeah, he just told the girl that he's fourth in line for the throne. Emil and I definitely help each other out when we go out, being the two single guys in the group. He's tanner than me. How do you guys tan up here in New York? I'm Indian. <laughs> He kind of treats his women like he treats his food. He's really picky, but when he finds something he's into, he's relentless. Neither my mom nor my dad has green eyes. It's a recessive trait. Have you ever taken a genetics class? My genetics what? Genetics class. I, remember, like in biology, we went over Yeah, you remember like, Punnett Squares? Yeah. <laughs> Playboy is totally different than like every other like porno mag. They're like completely in like a class of their own. Donnie, on the other hand, not quite as discriminating. Greek girls are great. Anybody like get married on a drunken whim yet? If she's of legal age and premenopausal, 
She's pretty much on the menu. Where are you from? I'm from San Diego. How do you guys come chill and have a drink? I'm down as long as the action is there with the shot. The action is always there, don't worry. <laughs> Would you like to come in here with me tomorrow? Yes. Give me your number. So Emily spelled. <laughs> no. Oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. Emil, you got a date. I got a date. Yes. Night was definitely a success. Yo, where's Brian? Massive game. I went online when we got home and I found a huge high stakes game. Oh my god, dude! Tell Brian about this game. It was high stakes PLO, and Brian is by far the most experienced out of all of us at that game. You wanna play it? Are we playing? Yep. Oh man. Well, here we go. All right, we're gonna be all in. Oh man. Money. Bam! First hand, baby. He's doing it all from the comfort of his own home. <laughs> Welcome to online poker. I'm um, feeling good about this shot. <laughs> okay. Okay, get out of here with the superstitious garbage. <clears throat> Just calls. Ooh. Now it's really a ship. We want more call. money in the pot. And we're all in? Well, obviously we're all in. We got the Netflix show. Spade ball. It's paid gums. Hey, maybe we have the best hand against Gus, though. Hopefully he has like 8, 9, 10, 3 or I something. Mean, it was Gus Oh, he's wow. He's got fours and sevens, though. Uh, damn, and he's got all those spades, too. I'm big with that pot. I mean, you know, 80K. All right. We're 40K less rich. There's no poker player so good that his confidence is not affected to some extent when he loses. Two million? No problem. Rob Bank? Shut up, Krantz. Give me a smart ass. I think we should start. Say f the two million, start concentrating on a smaller goal. Why would we achieve a smaller goal? Just had two losing sessions, now you're acting like poker's unbeatable or something. Have no, some, I'm acting like two Have some confidence. I'm acting like two mil is very, very difficult. It's not even close to unattainable. Every time I think about it, it just tilts me. Let's make a deal. From now on, we're not talking about the goal at all. Fine. Bar tab is five grand. Two thirds of it was in sparklers. Crystal, fourteen hundred a bottle. Fourteen hundred a bottle. Ballin'. You meet a girl, and you're both kind of drunk. Sometimes the next day doesn't turn out to be as good a situation as you thought it would be. We're gonna have a contingency plan when I pick up this girl. I'm gonna send somebody a text just in case there's something wrong with her, so I can get a fake phone call, so I can be like, Dude, oh, it's canceled. Okay. Why are you chipping? We're sure she's cute, right? You met her. I know. You're wasted. I called Megan the next day and left a message, and she called me back. So, are you down to do this dinner tonight? <laughs> yep, bye. She came here for professional reasons, right? She's auditioning for some shows yeah. here. If my daughter one day was like, oh, I'm, I'm done with college, I'm gonna go to Vegas to audition to be a dancer at some shows, I wouldn't even let her go. Yeah, I just repressed the <laughs> out of her. No dance! Like, then she'll just more, go the really crazy. And then the more they rebel, and then as soon as you turn your head, they're like cutting themselves. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Feels like it's been like six months up here already. I can't believe you haven't exploded yet from drinking so much and going out so much. Dude, I'm a tank. Yeah, you are. <laughs> you are. You are. I'm so sick of poker right now. It's like. Being in Vegas and also not being any, able to get anything going, I don't know. Uh, I think I'm gonna go home, get my head on straight. I know like right now I'm supposed to be like, yeah man, take a break. It's good for you in poker to take a break. And everybody always says that, but I've always felt that's the dumbest thing in the world. You need a break, you need a break. Go home and see your family. Just come back recharged and uh, ready for, you know, five nights a week of partying. Right now that sounds horrible. I can't even imagine that sounding good again, but yeah. Maybe me losing is bringing the guys total down a little bit. Maybe they would be winning more without me. Maybe they wouldn't. Maybe they need me. But we'll see. Cassie. Yeah. Oh, I think evening wear. So tonight, Neil and I have our dates with Megan and Emily, the girls we met at Playboy Club. We were gonna pick the girls up and then take them on a helicopter ride and then take them out to dinner with Brian and Cassie. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
pretty good. Okay. How you doing, man? So we wanted to do something fun and sort of ridiculous for the date. So we talked to Stryker, king of ridiculousness. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my world, Stryker VIP style. Enjoy. Please don't barf. There and you if go. you don't like the trip, uh, you can't actually open the door and walk out. Okay, because there's a long drop. <laughs> what I can do for these guys is anything. My motto is, the nicer the nice, the higher the price. High five. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah? I thought the helicopter ride was fun, but the headset was kind of annoying. Whoa! The stratosphere! I love it. That's it awesome so timing. Cool. You know, I hope Emily was impressed by the date. I don't usually take girls on helicopter rides. I